Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara. If you're new here, I'm a farmer in Northern California and I planted my very first vineyard in 2018. Today I am finally spraying weeds. As you can see, I have a little bit of a weed problem in my vineyard. Yesterday was a really rough day for me. I broke my sprayer, got a little bit stressed out, but today is gonna be a better day. The weather is beautiful and we are gonna get this thing done. Here is my handy dandy vineyard tractor. I'm so happy with it. This is my first time, well, technically day two of bringing it out in the vineyard and it drives beautiful, turns amazing. Oh, I'm so happy with it. And then here's my sprayer, broken arm off of it. And luckily crisis half averted because I'm spraying today. I can only do one row at a time versus two, but I rather move half as fast than not move at all. So anyways, let's go get this done. Okay, day two of spraying. Um, I'm getting an early-ish start. I wanted to start a little bit earlier, but I had to send some emails and do some stuff with the bank. So I'm here, I'm going, I brought a pillow. I need to get like lumber support or something. My back was killing me this morning. Too young for this people. But I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna get going and we're gonna see how far I get today. It's supposed to be pretty calm, so wish me luck. All right, I wanna make sure I'm in the same gear I was in yesterday. Make sure this Oh, that's weird. My little light turned off. My little light's not working, but it is spraying. So we're good to go. Drive the same speed. So I've got some big weeds that this spray is not really going to affect too much but it's gonna get all the small stuff, hopefully all the grasses, and prevent them from getting any bigger. This is one of my not so bad rows. Look how nice this looks. I wish all my rows looked this clean. It'll get there, it's, it's getting there. This area is a little bit thicker. It's really interesting because there are areas that look so clean, and then there's areas like this that have so much. So the stuff we're spraying is gonna really help this kind of small green stuff. I don't spray the middle of the rows, but like if this was on the berm, it's not gonna kill this size weed, but it'll burn it. And when I say burn it, I don't know the science behind it, but it, it pretty much makes it where the plant can't like photosynthesize, <laughs> photo, you know what I'm trying to say. So hopefully it'll damage the plant enough that it'll slowly die. Photosynthesize? I'll figure it out. We are filling up a load. Let's see, we're gonna fill it. You probably can't really see the number, but it says 180 right there. Gonna fill it to there. This will be my third load. And not quite halfway yet. My dad and I installed this nice button here. So this will control my sprayer. All I have to do is turn it on and then I have the two sides here. We don't have a center, but if I turn these guys on, you can kind of see it start spraying. Don't want to waste that though, but that is so nice because now I can do it all from inside my cab tractor. It's a beautiful thing. So let's go. All right, I am filling up probably what's gonna be my last load of the day. I'm 
feeling like I'm not gonna finish today, but I'm gonna be really close. I'm feeling much better than I did yesterday. So I'm getting this load. It's gonna be probably about 170 gallons and I'm hoping I can at least get this tank empty. I got another three hours of sun, so I'm gonna work on it. a break y'all as soon as I say I'm feeling good right there my sprayer is missing Let's see if I can there's the sprayer there's not the sprayer now I get to go find it I'm actually thinking it might still be on there just fell off the side that would be best case that would mean just the screw got loose from everything shaking so what? Yes. Here it is. Right here. So that is great. So all that means is something loosened up here and it slipped off. Best case scenario, one for a win. So I literally just slid that right back on there and I'm gonna grab a crescent wrench and tighten this nut right here and that'll just clamp it down a little bit more. Um, this thing is vibrating constantly, so I'm not surprised, but at least it didn't break. Broke a zip tie, so I want to get this stuff out of the way till I get back to the shop, but I can handle this. Not too bad. My tractor and everything. Looking good. Weeds are looking out of control, but we already knew that. So yeah. I'm so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. I am ten rows short of chemicals. I know because my calibration was off in the very beginning, so I probably was spraying just a little bit too much. Ten rows. Ah. Oh well. I'll finish it tomorrow. I'll have to pick up a little bit more chemicals, just mix a tiny load. But all in all, I'm super happy because I got it, you know, 99% done pretty much. I'll take it. And I've got a beautiful sunset going on. Things could be worse. I could have got nothing done. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm so excited because pruning is right around the corner, possibly even tomorrow. If you're enjoying my videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It means so much to me. I'll see you guys later.